Charlie Martin is a dancer. I don't know if anyone knows this, but he is a wonderful dancer. Charlie was always very verbal, I guess you'd say. He made a lot of noise as a child. But uh, the real kicker was the speech therapist we had there for our older child picked up on some early signs. You could say Charlie's name a million times and he would never look. And then they picked up on a key, I guess therapy and ABA when he started. And it was Charlie look or look. And he finally looked at us, Yeah, which was huge because we couldn't even get him to recognize if we were in the room. When you see Brawley, there is no telling what she's doing. She loves to dance, she loves music, um, she loves people. She met all her milestones up until 18 months. And one day she just stopped speaking. She was, was nonverbal. After we started Mitchell's Place around August, I could see a difference in Brawley and almost it was almost instant. This is Mary Wade. Mary Wade knows how to advocate for herself. She knows what she wants, how she wants to approach it, how to ask for it. And we landed at Mitchell's place because our son Henry is autistic and nonverbal. And so she followed him here. Putting her in an environment where she could be in a setting that would have the neurotypically developing uh, children with children on the spectrum so that they could learn from one another um, was appealing to us. Um, just so early on in her development, she could also better understand her brother. C-H. We're ahead of the curve at this point in, in Charlie's life. They opened up this whole new vocabulary. Yeah. yeah, he was able to communicate with us. They make the program fit Charlie. They. They look at every angle, every aspect of Charlie. It's definitely an individualized approach. I guess it's so individualized that I know there are other children here, typical and on the spectrum, but I only feel like it's us. You know, the staff here working intentionally and um, intensely, you know, with Henry have helped give him a voice. There's not a lot of organizations like Mitchell's Place, um, but there's a great need. Every year we see that the number of individuals being diagnosed with autism is increasing, and so therefore the need for Mitchell's Place is also increasing. We have two facilities. We have a facility on Overton Road, um, and that houses our comprehensive ABA program as well as our early learning program and related services. And we opened uh, Mitchell's Place Southside. Because of the increasing demand of ABA services, we were able to open that facility, um, and we wanted a place that was accessible by public transportation and really was available to a different population of Birmingham. It does take community partnership to keep us going. On October 13th, my daughter said her first word. So from being 18 months old and going nonverbal and into saying her first word, it was an overwhelming feeling um, as a mom to be able to hear that. And I know that Mitchell's place was a big part of that. It's made such a big difference in our house, the help that we get here, the help that Charlie gets. It, it was life changing. It's terrible if there's kids out there that don't have the, the ability to, to be here. I always think back to um, a video that we received from one of Henry's therapists where he was counting to 10. Seven. Seven. Mitchell's Place is really fitting a unique need within uh, the, the Birmingham community. There uh, is a need to invest further so that they can you know, reach more people. I know more families like us need more services. We need to grow. We, we need to have resources to grow places like Mitchell's Place. Mitchell's Place is one of a kind.